Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom as I'm finally able to return to the world of Ted Lasso season one, episode six. <laughs> so Ted and his wife have decided to part. Based on a lot of yours comments, it seems as if it was just they grew apart. They had met in college, it seemed like. They were different people then, or they're different people now. And as much as he loves her, she just doesn't love him the same. Why she doesn't love him the same though has not been answered at this point in time. But basically just given that she doesn't. Even though she's forcing herself to try to, I don't know, it was messy, it was sad, especially hearing when he said he never quits anything. But by that token, you shouldn't stay with somebody just because you're supposed to oh, but it was heartbreaking because you saw how much he loves his family not only his son he adores his son but he loves his family and now that family is gone oh, what next for ted on that front and keely has also officially ended things with jamie who ted benched which was brilliant i loved it and and roy now has some respect not only for Ted, but also some Keely as well. I saw the spark. I saw the spark. Do I want the spark? Kinda, I kinda want the spark. <laughs> but I'm excited to jump right into it. And I know some of you are really excited for me as well. So we are going to get, I don't know why I'm looking around. We're gonna get our stuff together. We're gonna get settled. You're going to hopefully also possibly maybe watch this with me on Patreon where you can watch the full unedited version and see all of my Tourette's motor tics in their finest form because it's been bad this week. I also have my water, hopefully to keep myself hydrated. Let me know where you're from. Let me know what you're drinking. Just let me know how you're doing. Happy fall <laughs> and let's get to it. We know they're going to start with a song that I can't play too much of because of copyright. And he is contemplating everything. Sorry, I'm late. You know, so I had to you know, walk to work. Turns out that clearing and walking in a town you don't know all too well can be a little tricky. Especially in a town that does not have easily gridded roads to navigate. Michelle. Oh, which is fine. You know, it's okay because, you know, it's a great time now for me to, you know, bury myself in a... Uh... Oh, pumpkin. So, although I'm not crazy, I don't love the word bury, you know what I mean? Oh, everyone loves a good bath, right? It's just a nice, warm bath, right? Yeah, so maybe, that's what I'll say. I'll say, I'm going to bathe myself in work. That's good. Now, you, uh, you got a favorite bath bomb, buddy? <laughs> oh, no, no, I just don't really enjoy baths. Hey, what about you, Coach? You, you got a favorite bath bomb? Creme brulee, honey. Yes, honey, he does, does have that... one, oh, just like that. Mm-hmm. Hey, but that's kind of a fun idea, though. We, we, maybe we, you know, start calling each other little pet names, you know? Uh, hey, Nate, will you do me a favor here and uh, we just help coach uh, play in practice? Yeah, the other day? sure. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Oh, somebody. Joy. No. <laughs> Is somebody going to poke the bear the wrong way and get a Ted they weren't expecting? All right. Oh, God. No. Now he's going to do a press conference. How's it feel? Well, Sarah, I believe you can outscore your opponent and still lose. Why is Jamie here? Uh, Trent Krim, the independent. Trent Krim, the independent. <laughs> but are you honestly going to keep your best player on the bench? Well, that depends on Jamie. He knows what we need from him. Yeah, it does depend on Jamie. Mm -hmm. Your decision to bench Jamie Tart was very brave. I mean, a master stroke. I don't think we're allowed to talk like that at work anymore. There's just one complication. <laughs> Manchester City have called, and they've inquired about terminating Jamie's loan. Oh, he's on loan? They want Jamie back if you are planning to bench him. I'm not planning on that. No, my plan is for my plan to work. But you know what they say about the best laid plans, right? You tell Man City that this man has a plan. 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 No, plan. 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 <laughs> like flan. Plan. Flan? Flan. It's flan. <laughs> Plan. Plan. <laughs> Is that new kid from Mexico here yet? Oh, he's getting treatment on his knee. Okay, good. What's his name again? Danny Rojas. Yeah, it's a great name. How's Jamie doing? <laughs> he's not there. Says he's hurt. Hmm. 
His ego's hurt. I heard you're not going to be able to run with us today. Is that true? Yep. Then go home. Really sorry to hear that. Relax, Ted. It's just practice. You're hurt, you're hurt. It's as simple as that. But it ain't about that. At all. You're sitting in here, you're supposed to be the franchise player. And yet here we are, talking about you missing practice. Because your butt hurt. Not a game, not the game you go out there and die for, right? Play every weekend like it's your last, right? No, we talking about practice, man. You know, you're supposed to lead by example. You're just shoving that all aside. We're talking about practice with your team, with your teammates. Rest of the time, it's us 11 against those 11. I'm talking about practice, and you can't do it because you're hurt, right? When you get out there, set the cones so the other reserves can do a little passing drill. You want me to set up cones? Really <laughs> <laughs> Colin, don't set the cones up. I think he likes you, mate. Was it talking to you, big man? Colin, set up the cones. Isaac's right, he asked you. You are a second teamer. <laughs> Oh, that's got a sting. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. I will say it's quite nice seeing Jamie put in his place once. This is a no schadenfreude zone, right? Nine schadenfreude. <laughs> oh, it's always. Yeah, what was it? What's Danny what? Rojas. 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 Yeah, is he any good? You he hope. came here in the summer transfer window, was immediately in Yeah. So no one's really seen him play. That's what I was hearing, right? I was like, wait, he just got there and he's already injured? Okay, let's be sure to help Danny get acclimated, all right? First time in this league could be very overwhelming. He's injured. He's injured. Thank you for the opportunity. You are a spirited fella, Danny. Just like batting Guadalajara, you say it, I do it, coach. Football is life! Wow. <laughs> He's injured. <laughs> and he's a team player. Oh, football is vida. Did you know that Richard was raised on a goat farm? And that Isaac's mob has two left hands. What? Even got myself a little work planner. Oh. You couldn't get one without the word unicorn written on it? I just came by to see if you're okay, really. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, Christ, have you not seen the news yet? Obviously not. Do you remember that stunning girl, Bex? The one that Rupert left with the night of the gala? Hmm. Which is actually short for... <gasps> Rebecca. Yep, which is also your name. She's the new Rebecca. So the press is calling her... New Rebecca. Shit. Oh, she's calling her old Rebecca. The press is calling her Rebecca. And you're... Uh, oh, old Rebecca. What? Old Rebecca. And if you ever have a moment, or if you don't got this, then you just call me, right? She doesn't have it right this moment. She doesn't have it. <gasps> wow, that was on purpose, yes? <laughs> You're good, yeah, but up here, there's a difference between good and great. Mm hmm La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Woo-hoo! One, one. Your turn, amigo. <gasps> He's playing horse with him? Or a version of horse, I should say. Oh. Again tomorrow, Jamie Tart? We'll see. <laughs> Football is live! Na, 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 na. Oh, oh, oh. And they were there to see the whole thing. I, I feel like we <laughs> fell out of the lucky tree, hit every branch on the way down. Don't count your chickens yet. So then we bring in another fellow to help turn him back into an ace, and then that fella ends up being an ace himself. And so now we got two aces. Aces. That's the word, yeah? Aces. Aces. Aces? aces. Oh, no, I'm in there. See? Okay, what if we cloned the lead guitarist from Kiss? You'd have two. Freelies. Lovely weather we've been having, don't you think? So is he still reading Wrinkle in Time or is he reading it again? <gasps> That's the thing, coach. I did not trip over something. Something tipped me. Your enthusiasm? Something not there. 
your energy? <laughs> I saw Danny go into the treatment room before training and I didn't say anything. Oh. Right, well, I hope you've all said your goodbyes because we're never going to see him again. Spill. The treatment room is cursed. It's true. Why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? I don't believe it. Okay, oh, good. Me so. and you were going to go look in that room. No. <laughs> because, no. Oh, heck. I mean, Danny was out there, what, an hour ago? Running circles on that pitch like a joyous raven-haired golden retriever. Exactly. I need you to gather up the rest of the fellas because we got ourselves cursed to reverse. So they're all going to walk into the cursed place. You're all here because of this poster behind me. Oh. Hundreds of those posters were put up around Richmond on the 18th of November, 19. Oh, this curse has got some depth. It was an invitation for young men to try out to be a professional footballer. There was no tryout, just recruiters waiting to encourage those boys to fight the fight. Ooh. They enlisted 400 lads that day. Ooh. Very few of them came up. Do you know where they went for their physical? Oh, Christ, it's our treatment room, isn't it? Oh. No, 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 no. Hey, no, fellas. No, it was not, OK? Oh, I think it was. Uh, it was. I'm sorry, I'm lying to you. I don't, I don't know why. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can't change the past. No saying. No, we cannot. But we can choose to honor it. Oh. Oh. I think it's only fair that we sacrifice something of our own. Jamie. <laughs> I want you to go home tonight. Find something. Something personal. Something that you truly value. I want you to bring it tonight to the clubhouse at midnight. Curse. We're all gonna fucking do it! Thank you, Roy. Leadership right there. That's your captain talking right there. Told you. But they got supporters. Even though they had not been playing the best, they've got supporters. So what's up, Jamie? Ted Lasso. Oh, he's really grown up your bum, hasn't he? Maybe he's not even a real coach. Mm. I'm Jamie Tart. I'm not like everyone else. Do you think that I could have got from a council estate in North Manchester to the Premier League if I did what everyone else did? No, I don't. But maybe someday you should stop battling the people that just want to help you. Excuse me, uh, Miss Lawton. Hi, I'm Sam. Th this is really awkward, but are you free tonight? Sam, I am very flattered. But I can understand why you misinterpreted. I mean, you're so lovely. You must get romantic invitations all the time. <laughs> I'm from Nigeria, and so I feel like whenever the subject of curses comes up, people are like, oh, I bet the African guy is really into this. Oh, you're obviously not. Oh, no, 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 I really uh, But that's mainly from loving Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, well, Miss Walton, I really hope you can participate in this ceremony that we're having later tonight. Uh, coach thinks it will only work if the whole team is there. And, and Miss Walton, you it's your team. team. What I can tell you is that with the exception of the wit and wisdom of Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes. Not much lasts forever. Mm-hmm. And she showed up. Um, I was nine when I got scouted by Sunderland. My granddad drove me all the way there, and it was freezing, and I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I was f***ing nine. Say something. Mm-hmm. You gave me this old blanket. It was to keep me warm to remind me of home. And that was the last time I saw him. Oh. Passed away by the time I got back for Christmas, so. Oh. That is why Blanky means so much to me. Did you just say Blanky? No, I said Blanket. Conversation over. Sam, go. Oh. Oh. You know, I pledged I wouldn't take this down until I made the team myself. And I still intend to do that. It's the first bitch boy I ever slept with a simple bullet. And he kept the same. I am and Richard coming at you from both ends of the spectrum there. Mm -hmm, Appreciate mm -hmm. that. A girl once said I look like Clive Owen in these sunglasses. Because he looks so much like Clive Owen. <clears throat> we need the story, Rebecca. There's something in there about me as usual, and I'm trying not to care. This is my cat's collar. She was a faithful companion for 20 years. Gonna miss you, Cindy Clawford. <sighs> Everybody go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to go. Well, he showed up. He's not in my first boots or anything. My mum gave him a... She's the reason I worked so hard. Just wanted to make her proud. She doesn't even care if I'm any good. 
Just wants me to be happy. Be a good lad. Once I got good though, me old man started showing up, didn't I? Ah. Calling me soft if I didn't dominate, you know, and I, and I hated that. I actually fucking hated that. Still hates it. Heat present tense. I wonder if sometimes I forget about making her proud. I don't think that she would be lately. Well, gentlemen. Oh, what did Ted put in? Well, you say we burn this crap. Um, Maybe we should do this part yeah. outside. Yeah. That's a good call. Yeah, that's smart. Okay. <laughs> I think the only way to know if the curse has been lifted or not, we need to ask the spirits for a sign. Speak to us. <gasps> he needs to go slower. I brought a bottle of mezcal to throw into the curse fire. No, 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 no. Whatever ghosts it were that made you trip over, they're gone now, I promise, yeah? Crack that bastard open. And don't throw it on the fire. This is Team United. <laughs> For now. Oh, we knew Danny's okay hours ago. In fact, it was my man Higgins' idea not to share that info with the boys until after the ceremony. Hmm. Put to the team first, eh, Higgins? Higgins, come with me. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Richmond till we die, we're Richmond till we die. Or we get traded. <laughs> or go back to where our contracts are. <laughs> easy, gentlemen, easy. Good morning, honey bunch. Hear that buzz out there? <gasps> she posted the pictures. What happened? You got rid of Jamie? <gasps> Man City recalled him. I told you, Ted, they were concerned he wasn't playing. I finally got through to him. I thought that was what you wanted. Yeah, well, you thought wrong. I'm trying to be cool about this, but I am just seeing red everywhere. Well, perhaps you should leave mm -hmm. before you say something you'll regret. Mm. No, actually, you know what? Here you go. Your biscuits. <gasps> and I hope they're not as good as they usually are. Oh, but dang it, they're the best batch yet. I finally cracked the recipe! Oh. Coach, football is life. Now we find ourselves in late December. Time for their great surrender. But they don't remember. Did they carry anything? So Rebecca's course has not changed paths at all. And I think what's most frustrating for me is that you can see she wants to. She showed up to the curse release and ceremony. She didn't have to do that. But she did it anyway. So the fact that she's so... Uh, uh, frustrating. So Jamie's reveal that he tries to be the best player he can to make his mom proud, but then his dad came along when he started doing well and would put him down when he didn't do well and he just wanted to stick it to the old man. Makes sense. It makes sense. It's a great motivation, a great explanation of why he's such a dick. I think for me, the fact that it happened so quickly, we had a little scene where he's... And Keely goes, hey, quit being a pain to people who are just trying to help you. And then we got this huge reveal. I think I needed one or two more little scenes where you kind of see him catching on to make that not seem so jarring. It was a little like, oh, <laughs> boom, dropped in front of me. And I'm like, oh, I would have liked to have been slightly more prepared. Is that making sense at all? But their little ceremony cracks me up because I have participated in something like that at a time or two. And it did remind me of, <laughs> so when I was divorcing many, many years ago, my ex-husband and I met in, in high school and it was while we were both in theater and we're working on the same show. Coincidentally, the f when we were breaking up, the high school we went to was doing the same show. And for years, I had a picture of him in that show in my car on the visor. So I said to my sister, hey, let's go see our old teacher's show just to support the school. And she's like, okay, fine. 
because we've got we've gone to the high school shows before but she's like you know it's funny she goes are we going to this one specifically because this is where you and stupid had met i'm like mm -hmm. and she goes and this don't you have a picture of him from that show and i was like you mean this one and she goes are we gonna are we gonna do some of that picture like burn it and i'm like Boom, matches yes she's like this is great and so after the show we went behind the school <laughs> And attempted to burn that picture because it was on old school photo paper and that sucker wouldn't light. <laughs> it would catch fire for half a second and then it would just go. Bzzz. So it took a lot of matches to burn that shit up. But yeah, so I understand you got to burn the old mojo, mojo, jojo. So we're down to Jamie, but now we've got a Danny Rojas who is a golden retriever. He's a puppy. He is a golden retriever puppy that has a lot of energy. That does not always necessarily mean do well. Now you got to aim that energy to the right spot. Oh, and now Rebecca knows Ted bakes the cookies. A lot happened. That was a lot happened. There we go. Episode six. Much more s'more story. <laughs> much more s'more. Much more story to go. So please do not be a stranger. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. So you know when the next episode drops. And until then, this is just your reminder to move your body. Not quite as exuberantly as Danny. Move your body, exercise your demons, get something to eat, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So, thanks again, y'all, and until next time. <laughs>